So just wanted to make a quick MLB video for you guys talking about why I think the New York Mets acquiring Juan Soto makes perfect sense for the future of this franchise uh, and sort of go over some reasons why I think that in this video. So uh, as always, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video and let's get right into it. So the first reason is just from a defensive perspective. Um, by signing uh, Juan Soto in 2025, um, the New York Mets could be replacing uh, some departures in uh, their outfield right now um, as it stands in 2023 with Mark Canna uh, set to be a free agent in 2024. Um, there's a pretty good chance that he could depart in free agency uh, and with Sterling Marte getting older, he could be a trade target down the road or whatever the case may be. Uh, the Mets could be looking for some upgrades in their left and right field uh, for the 2024, 2025, 2026 season seasons and beyond and with Juan Soto being one of the best players if not the best player uh, set to become a free agent in 2025 if the, New York, uh, if, the, if the New York Mets are able to get the biggest fish available on the market um, and add them to your outfield, which could be depleted in a couple years, it makes your team better and it solves a defensive issue that is going to be pretty hard to find um, if you're Steve Cohen the next couple of years in regards to star power. Uh, Mark Cannon is a tremendous player, same with Starling Marte. They are older players, though, and regression uh, and injuries are a factor that could very well happen um, this season, next season, whatever the case may be. Uh, so by going for a player like Juan Soto, who's younger, lots of runway left on his MLB career, uh, and is also a tremendous hitter at the plate, you would solve a defensive need in your outfield, you would improve in regards to a hitter, and get a player that's a better long-term fit uh, for this franchise in the, in the direction of the organization. So uh, just from a defensive perspective, um, if Mark Hanna leaves and Strong Marte leaves or gets traded, now, I do think that Juan Soto makes perfect sense um, for, de for a defensive replacement, uh, but also, too, you're adding a way better bat to your lineup, and it makes your team better overall. So, um, you know, Juan Soto could be replacing uh, some possible voids the next couple of years in free agency um, if guys like Mark Canna leaves or if they trade Starling Marte. Um, I think this would be an awesome option for the New York Mets to consider. Now, the second reason is that Steve Cohen is always willing to sign star players in free agency give them the money they, uh, they deserve and maybe even a little bit more. Uh, and Juan Soto, of course, is set to become a free agent in 2025 uh, and could very well be the biggest fish available on the market. Now, uh, Steve Cohen is not afraid to throw on money, as I mentioned before. Um, as we saw this past off season, uh, the amount of players that he signed for the contract values that he signed them for is incredible. They have the highest payroll in baseball by quite a bit. He's paying um, a ton of money in luxury tax money and will next year as well. Um, in order to put a championship caliber team on the field. And we saw even this past offseason, they were willing to sign Carlos Correa to a big time contract, go even higher above the luxury tax threshold, um, which is already pretty high as it stands right now. And it just didn't work out, obviously, with his physical and his health. Um, just wasn't a fit for the New York Mets organization. But as we saw, Steve Cohen's not afraid to sign star players no matter what the cost may be. Now, in 2024, there's some big time free agents available. Shohei Otani is most notably uh, the top player everyone's talking about. If Manny Machado ups out of his contract, he could be an option. Um, Javier Baez is a potential option as well. Uh, some talent on the uh, open market in 2024, absolutely. But if we're going ahead to 2025, let's just say the Mets are unable to sign Manny Machado or Shohei Otani. They could set all their attention and all their efforts towards bringing on Juan Soto for the 2025 MLB season and beyond, and possibly even signing him to a $500 million plus dollar contract, uh, given what the landscape's going to be like in the MLB um, in 2025. And also, too, he's a younger player with lots of runway ahead of him. So uh, Steve Cohen could definitely view uh, Juan Soto as his next big target. Um, if he's able to strike out on players in 2024, uh, in 2025. So uh, Juan Soto, if he wants to go to the Big Apple and play in the bright lights of New York City, I think that Steve Cohen's going to offer this guy a big time contract. Uh, and he could very well be a New York Met uh, for the foreseeable future. If he does decide, I'd hit the open market and go to the New York Mets. Now, the third and final reason is pretty simple. It makes the Padres worse and it makes the Mets better. The Mets and Padres, in my opinion, uh, for the next decade, are going to be competing each and every season to make the World Series championship. Uh, both teams have aggressive ownership groups. Both teams have a tremendous um, you know, amount of talent on their roster and are hoping to, you know, year in and year out, compete for a World Series um, come October. So uh, if you're able to make one of your, you know, conference rivals worse in the Padres and make your team better um, in the Mets, 
It's the best thing for the New York Mets franchise and their fan base. Now, Juan Soto, imagine adding this to your lineup. A guy that hit for a 242 average last year, 27 home runs, 5.6 war, um, you know, 401 on base, 452 slugging, OPS of 853, and an OPS plus of 149. And that's considered a down year for Juan Soto. It, it really is. At just 24 years old, Juan Soto is one of the brightest lights in all of baseball, a tremendous player with a tremendous future, uh, and he could very well be a New York Mets in 2025. I fully believe that. And if you're able to make his current team, the Padres, worse by taking this player for the cost of nothing and signing him uh, in free agency to a long-term contract, Mets fans are going to be jumping for joy because it makes your team better, gives your team an edge over the Padres, who they are going to be competing with the next couple of years, probably the next decade um, to go to the World Series and hopefully win a championship. So uh, both teams are pretty similar in their own regard. Uh, but if you're able to add someone like Juan Soto to your team um, and you lose them for nothing, it's not ideal for the Padres. It's very ideal for the Mets and it makes their team better, not only in the short term, uh, but in the long term as well. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, make sure to comment your thoughts and uh, opinions down below in the comment section of this video on why the New York Mets acquiring Juan Soto makes perfect sense for the franchise in 2025 uh, if he does in fact hit the open market. Um, it was obviously teased on Instagram a couple days ago with Juan Soto liking a comment from a Mets fan uh, saying that Steve Cohen's going to pay you 500 million plus dollars um, when you're a free agent. He liked that comment. So Maybe he does have interest. Who really knows? But leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video. Have a tremendous rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.